Hello friends, I welcome you all to my channel. Today we will see how we can install Aruba Mobility Master on VMware Workstation. I will use Aruba version AOS 8.x for this setup. So without wasting any time, let's start. Let's talk about the lab requirement now. We would need a laptop with at least 10 GB of RAM and on this laptop we should have some operating system installed in our lab what we will have is windows 10 installed on our laptop on this laptop we should have a vmware installed as well as we should have aruba os image of virtual mobility master and aruba os image for virtual mobility controller we require .oba file for both the images and what we will do is we will install these OVA file on VMware. Now let's talk about the connectivity of Virtual Mobility Master and Virtual Mobility Controller. In our lab setup, both the Virtual Mobility Master and Virtual Mobility Controller are in same LAN. That is, the IP address of Virtual Mobility Master would be 10.10.10.1 and IP address of virtual mobility controller would be 10.10.10.10. We will have interface gig 000 of both the controller that is virtual mobility master and virtual mobility controller will be connected with the network adapter 2 and we will have gateway as 10.10.10.2 which will be our VMNet one so this is a lab setup and it's a very small lab setup but in practical we will not have both the mobility master and mobility co mobility controller in the same lan what we will have in practical is both the mobility master and mobility controller would be separated by a mpls network so let's see this is mpls network and here we would have our mobility master and here we would have our virtual mobility controller generally this mobility master would be in data center or in hub site and this virtual mobility controller would be in our in our local site similarly we can have multiple mobility master in a data center mobility master 1 mobility master 2 and we can add both of the mobility master in active standby or in a cluster using vrrp similarly we can have more than one virtual mobility controller in a site or different virtual mobility controller in different sites so in case if you require in our lab we can add one more virtual mobility master similarly we will add we will use some interface like 000 or 001 and that will connect to the same adapter and we will use the same gateway and we can have more virtual mobility controller if we need through the interface gig 000 that will connect to the same gateway but most probably we will have this setup virtual mobility master and virtual mobility controller these would be the interfaces and these would be the ip address of the mobility master and mobility controller and this would be the gateway now let's talk about virtual mobility master installation here so what we will do is we will install virtual mobility master using .ova file and we can download this .ova file from Aruba site or we can contact Aruba sales team and get the file for virtual mobility master. So let's see how we install virtual mobility master in VMware. So what we have here is VMware workstation and it's very easy to install VMware workstation on your Windows PC you can download the VMware workstation and you can install it directly. So to install Virtual Mobility Master on VMware workstation, what we will do is we will go on File and then we will go on Open and then we will click on the image, click on Open and we can click on Import and it will start importing the image. and here it is so this ova file is now inside the vmware workstation and what we will do here is we will power on this virtual machine and these are the resources which 
this virtual mobility master is going to consume it will consume 8 gb of memory six processors and hard disk of 4 gb and these are the network adapters and so let's go ahead and power on this virtual machine so i'll power on the virtual machine and it will start booting up i will skip this video for this part and we will see the important parts and i'll skip other parts okay so the mobility master has booted up and first of all it is asking for the name this should be the name of the mobility master so vmm1 virtual mobility master 1 it is asking for the vlan id the lab network is very flat so we will keep it in vlan 1 it is asking us for the port number the port which will connect with the network adapter so as mentioned previously the port number was gig 000 so we can hit enter here or if you want to change this port we can write gig 001 let's enter enter controller vlan port mode do we want this port to be configured as an access port or trunk port we will keep it as an access port so i'll hit enter what should be the ip address for the mobility master or the ip address of this vlan 1 because we are using default vlan that is vlan 1 so we will give ip 10.10.10.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 i could have hit enter directly both would have the same meaning and it is asking me for the default gateway so i'll put 10.10.10.2 do you wish to configure ipv6 no country i'll put india in it is confirming for the country name yes time zone is gmt minus 5 30 it will show me the current time here yes this is the correct date it is asking for the password and this would be your default password to log in into this mobility master so we will write a very simple password welcome w e l c o m e all with caps off and we will hit enter retype the password w e l c o m e so it is giving me the option if i am okay with the changes which i configured just now so yes i am pretty much fine with this so i'll write yes and it will boot up again so i'll pause this part so the mobility master is up now and it is asking us for the username and the password so the default username would be admin a d m i n and the password would be which we configured initially that is welcome enter and we are in the mobility master vmm1 is the name of the mobility master and if you want to see the ip address of this mobility master so we can run show ip interface brief vlan1 has an ip of 10.10.10.1 and mask is slash 24 status is up if i want to see the ports show port status we can see here gig 000 is enabled and up while gig 001 is disabled and down and this gig 000 is connected with our network adapter 2 let's see if i can ping my gateway here that is 10.10.10.2 so 10.10.10.2 I cannot ping the gateway so let me ping myself yes i can reach 10.10.10.1 so let's see why we are not able to reach the gateway so as discussed this gig 000 of the mobility master should connect with network adapter 2 the ip address for the mobility master is 10.10.10.1 and it belongs to vlan 1 we have already done this part and this connectivity is also there but what about these two we haven't done these parts so let's go ahead and do this part give this network adapter 2 with a subnet of 10.10.10.0 slash 24 to do that go on edit and go on virtual network editor and here it is so the vm1 should be 10.10.10.0 so 
I have already configured this. So if you want to configure it, go on change settings. Yes. And write the subnet IP here 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 subnet mask 255 255.0 and click on OK. Now once we are done with this part, we have to do this part VMNet1 and give the IP address of 10.10.10.2 .10 with mask slash 24. So to do that, go in your network settings and open VMNet1. Go on properties, IPv4, double click, set the IP 10.10.10.2.255.255.255.0. Okay, so this is the gateway and, and we can leave the default gateway for this VMNet1 and click on OK. OK, close. So one last step is pending. Right click on Aruba OS image, Mobility Master, click on settings. After that, go to Network Adapter 2 because what is our task is the network adapter 2 should belong to vmnet1 this is what we are going to do now network adapter 2 custom vmnet1 okay leave rest of the things as it is now let's see if you are able to ping the gateway still not so let me ping vlan1 ip and I am able to ping myself, that is I am able to ping the IP address of the mobility master. Show IP interface brief will tell the IP address of the mobility master. Now let me see the IP route, show IP route. Now let me try to ping the gateway. And the gateway is not reachable. I tried to figure out why I'm not able to reach the gateway and I realized that I have turned on the firewall of my PC. So if I will click here, this public network setting to be able to ping my default gateway, I should turn this off. Okay, so I'll turn it off, click OK. I will minimize it and now I'll ping my gateway and I'm able to reach it. Let me check the ARP. This is the ARP entry for the gateway. And let me see the port status. Gig 000 is enabled and up. Now let's see if we are able to open Virtual Mobility Master on Google Chrome. What we will do is we will open Google Chrome, type the IP address of Virtual Mobility Master. That is 10.10.10.1 and hit enter. We can click on advance and we can ignore this certificate error. Click on unsafe and here you go. We can write the username and password here. So the default username is admin and password is what we set initially. Welcome W E L C O M E. We are on the home page of Mobility Master. So what we can do here is we can click on this three arrow and here it will show us. This is the place where our Mobility Master lives and this is the place where managed networks or managed device or mobility controllers live. We will talk about all these things later. I just wanted to show you the initial page here and wanted to show you that we are able to access our Mobility Master. Now I'll do one more thing here. I will try to access the Virtual Mobility Master through PuTTY. To do that, what I will do, I'll open PuTTY and write the IP address 10.10.10.1. It is asking me for the username that is admin, password that is welcome and hit enter. And we are on the Mobility Master through PuTTY. We can do all the things which we want to do we can go in config mode we can enter exit and hit enter and <clears throat> we can manage all the configurations from here we will see all these things later now we have the access of our mobility master through cli and as well as through gui